Well, my name is Samira Crank, and I am originally from Montezuma Creek, Utah. And I grew up on the Navajo Nation Reservation. And I attended Whitehorse High School down there, and I graduated in 2008. Um, from there, I went to the College of Eastern Utah in San Juan, the San Juan campus. And um, there, I got my associates in 2010. And I've been working with the NRCS for about two and a half years now. I started out as a STEP student, um, student temporary employment program. And um, my first summer, I worked in the Aneth office and Monticello office. And it was there that I knew first off that I wanted, to, that um, engineering was the field I really wanted to pursue. I had two influences on why I wanted to go into engineering. Um, my first um, reason was my Che or maternal grandfather. Um, he was a surveyor for the BIA Bureau of Indian Affairs and I think he was the very first person who influenced me and then from there was my father and he also works with the NRCS. At first I wasn't sure in high school I was just kind of kicking around ideas of, about which um, career I wanted but when I worked with my first summer with the NRCS and saw firsthand what they were doing. That's when I decided, okay, this is the career I wanted. And working for the NRCS has been a steady experience, I guess, because I not only am learning about this in school, but I actually get to go out into the field with the NRCS crew and the engineers and see what it's actually like. For example, I am out here in Cache Valley in Logan, Utah, and I am surveying on a dairy farm for animal waste management. Right now, I am a junior at Utah State University, and I am in the College of Engineering, and I am going into the civil engineering field. And um, my main goal um, right now um, is to basically take my college degree and return to the Navajo Reservation and kind of bring what I know and what I learned and take it down there um, to improve livestock and water resources down on the reservation because since I've been here in Logan and since I've worked in the Price office as well, they the people that live there, they have better resources, they have better access to the NRCS. Well, on the Navajo Reservation, there's a barrier, like a language barrier, and they live way out, out outside. They don't live in a rural community. They live way, they live far out. And that's kind of what I want to bring to the reservation one day and improve, improve on that.